Edited and directed by Horikazu Kori, the monster AK Kaibutsu starring Sakura Ando, Eita Nagayama, Soya Kurokawa and Hinata Hiragi in the lead roles is finally released on VOD. As the Japanese drama releases for streaming, we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview, talk about the ending and discuss some details of the film so that you can have the best viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the movie. But if you are done watching it already, let's dive straight into the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on to the basic plot. The film starts with Saori Mugino, who is a single mother raising her fifth grade son Minato. He soon begins to exhibit strange behaviors such as cutting his hair and walking home with only one shoe. One night Minato doesn't come home at all and after calling around, Saori finds him in an abandoned train tunnel. On the way back, the boy jumps out of the moving car. After much effort, Saori manages to find the real reason for her son's strange behavior, which is his school teacher Mr. Hori. She realizes that her son is acting out of control after being beaten by his teacher at school. So she rushes to the school the next morning. Saori meets director Makiko Fushimi and demands answers several times. However, the teacher only half-heartedly apologizes and the desperate mother vows to get justice for her son. Every time the school authorities bring Hori in front of Saori, the young teacher either says nothing happened or acts completely mechanical. The woman continues to come to school complaining, demanding punishment for the teacher and is even more shocked to learn that Hori once pushed Minato down the school stairs. This marks the end of her patience and the school board fires Mr. Hori as well. But as neither side knew at the time, reality is quite different from what it seems and understanding it all requires a shift in perspective. During one of Saudi's many meetings with the school administrator, teacher Michito Shihori reveals that Minato was bullying another student in the class called Yuri Hoshikawa. The film then changes to Hori's perspective on many events and we cut to the night of the fire where he is walking with his girlfriend. After meeting some students at school, Hori returns home with a woman who has been with him for a long time. She complains that Hori shouldn't aim to be a good teacher for children but to do the job given to him without being too attached. But the reason this is happening to Hori Michitoshi and becomes his problem is that he's a really great teacher and a leader who always has good intentions to help children. Monster is a very complex film because no one character is responsible for the circumstances around them. Hori wasn't responsible for abusing Minato but he was just as attentive and sensitive to the boy as everyone else at school. The incident where Minato was hit by the teacher was an accident as his hand only touched the boy's nose. There had also been a specific complaint from Saudi that the teacher had abused her son saying that his brain was that of a pig, suggesting that he was extremely unintelligent. But Hori had said none of this and neither had Minato meant to see these things to his mother. He had only said that Mr. Hori had caused the injury to his nose and the rest was all due to rumors and misconception. These rumors play an important role throughout the film as a theme giving rise to various misunderstandings that arise because of the characters. Saori learns that Hori was at the host club that got burned which is utterly disrespectful according to her. Later on Hori hears a student say that Minato had been fitting with the dead corpse of a cat and he believes that the boy had killed the animal. A rumor about Principal Fushimi states that it was she who mistakenly ran over her grandson and then blamed it on her husband. Like with many other matters in the film, there is no proof of or against this rumor, but Saori still uses the statement to hurt the elderly woman, which hurts the most. One of the core ideas of Monster is that we continually seek external monsters to understand and make sense of the emptiness and confusion in our lives. Saori doesn't understand her son's emotional development, so she looks for external factors that made him act this way. Hori himself is an anxious and sensitive person who is very influenced by the words and actions of those around him. So he is looking for someone to save from the bullies, in this case it was Yori. Over time Hori strongly believes that Minato is too energetic, prone to violence and bullies other students in the class. He notices that the boy is acting very disorderly, throwing objects and making a fuss in the classroom and believes that this is a manifestation of his violent personality. 
Huri, who later sees Minato and Yuri fighting in class, assumes that this is evidence that Minato is bullying another boy. Huri's belief is confirmed when he sees that the boy has also locked Yuri in the toilet. It's not that the teacher is angry or suspicious of the little boy, because Huri is a sensitive person with a very gentle and helpful personality, he just wants to approach Minato and explain his mistake. But the boy doesn't give his teacher any room. So as the man continues to pursue Minato, the boy becomes even more distant, fearing that his teacher will punish him. Whoever is responsible for the situation between Huri and Saudi is made worse by the school authorities who keep stepping in and trying to fix the problem. Huri has no choice but to apologize to the parent without even investigating the incident, further infuriating Saudi, who is surprised by the meticulousness and ingenuity of the school authorities. Monster describes most of its characters as completely above reproach. The principal, saddened by the sudden death of her grandson, believes that the only thing that matters in her life is the school and does everything in her power to protect the image of the school. But at the same time, all the characters have flaws and all characters can be partially responsible for the series of events. After being fired, Hori's girlfriend leaves him and Hori is also harassed by the media and other neighbors. Still thinking about the impact the incident had on Minato, Hori returns to school and in the heat of the moment, the boy slips and falls down the stairs, again blaming the teacher. Hori actually considers killing himself by jumping off the roof of the school but changes his mind when he hears the trumpet. A few days later, during a heavy rain, Hori discovers Minato and Yuri's names together in one of his tasks and realizes that the two are actually friends. However, when he goes to Minato's house to apologize, the boy disappears and Saori becomes very nervous. Then the film turns its attention to Yuri and it is revealed that he and Minato have become very good friends. Yuri was bullied by other boys at school due to his most sensitive and somewhat feminine personality. In fact, Minato was constantly trying to help his friend and stop the bullies from bullying and harassing him. However, the boy feels and believes that he should not tell others about his friendship with Yuri and there are several reasons for this. First of all, Minato is still young enough to see the thoughts of the people around him as wrong standards. Therefore, he thinks that being friends with Yuri makes him a laughingstock. So he sometimes fights with the boy and refuses to help Yuri out of the bathroom after the bullies lock him in there. The stereotypical notion of masculinity also hinders Minato's understanding of his friendship with Yuri, for he does start to feel emotions for his friend. While that is a natural matter, without necessarily any romantic tints to it, Minato fears that his proximity to his best friend is taking away from his masculinity. This is why none of the boys are able to express themselves to Hori, for he too talks of the filter between what is manly and what is not. Yuri's drunken father Kyokata, who is perhaps the only character on whom a lot of blame can be thrown, also keeps stating that his son has a pig's brain instead of a human's, solely because of the sensitive nature of the boy. This statement in turn makes Minato believe that he suffers from the same ailment when he starts to have feeling for his friend. The boy also fears that their classmates will pick on them if they are seen together, which does happen even when Minato simply refuses to bully the kid, as so he keeps their friendship a secret. But in the meantime, the two boys became very close outside of school and found their own space inside an abandoned train deep in a railway tunnel. On a rainy morning, Minato runs up to his friend's house after Yuri's father had claimed that he would take the boy away the previous night. Minato finds his friend with severe bruises on his body, indicating that Kyokata attacked his son before leaving the house, and the two boys make their way to the train. They eventually get stuck at the place because of the rains and have to find some other shelter as well, which is why Saudi and Hori do not find them there. Yuri's father is as evil as it gets. It is he who feeds little Yuri with disturbing insecurities about his sexual identity. To the alcoholic who frequents the hostess bar, his son is a pig in a human body, and it's that very monster he claims to purge when he beats Yuri black and blue. While all this does startle Minato into his brazen judgement about Yuri's father, he is aware that there are things he doesn't feel comfortable sharing with his mother. Also, it was Saudi's choice to deny her mistakes, born of a protective instinct that made it even harder for Minato to truly trust his mother. So Yuri's father's abusive remarks turned into things said by Mr. Hori when they came out of Minato's mouth. Lies he only very vaguely acknowledged to the principal. It is here that Monster is enraged against people's desire to gatekeep happiness. If it's supposed to be exclusive to those who threaten and those who conform, it's not real happiness. Happiness is what Minato and Yuri created in the abandoned train car, which now bears witness to Saudi and Hori's heartbreaking desperation to find the two children lost in the typhoon-ravaged city. It was shame and fear that paralyzed Minato 
preventing him from sleeping at night or openly acknowledging his reality. The same fear eluded Yuri, whose submission and spasms of revolt confused his abusive father. The burdensome influence of his culture keeps him from speaking ill about his father. But that didn't stop him from setting fire to the hostess bar. Only when Yuri is in bad shape and is covered in pain by his father does Minato's fear take a back seat. He takes Yuri and runs to their safe heaven, so safe Minato believes that not even a typhoon will be able to affect it. Monster's ending, in contrast to its ambiguity otherwise, is outspoken about its wish. It wants to see Minato and Yuri crawl over the mud and the sharp rocks of life so they can run free in the sunlit green. The very real possibility that this is just a series of warm imaginations is not something the finale wants to deal with. It's about what ideally should happen, not what really happens. Because regardless of all perspectives, there are absolute rights and wrongs in the world. In typical Koreida style, the ending of the monster wipes away all negativity and misunderstanding and the bright fresh light of the sun shines upon the world. Minato and Yuri briefly wonder if the world has been reset and reborn, but quickly agree that it isn't. The film ends with the two boys running away laughing after forming a friendship, naturally not yet realizing the deep beautiful impact that it will have on their lives. The film leaves it up to the viewer to draw their own conclusions as to whether the two kids made it out alive or not. It suggests that the boys have arrived at their own understanding about their bond and would be faced otherwise by what others might have to say about it. And this is the defining note of the film. And the Rashomon style narrative helps us understand the philosophy of perspective really well. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Monster. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off. Johnny and I'll be back.